guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is may 8 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and just looking at this title and this picture once again it's not looking good for the yellow and blue country it says here new strike by the bear against the energy infrastructure with 70 missiles and drones three three power plants have been seriously damaged we have more breaking news updates look at this they are telling citizens get your candles the yellow and blue country warns of outages after massive strike on power plants Guys, two days ago, they just announced that they rebuilt the uh, uh, the grid, and they spent a lot of money, and so everybody got the lights back on, and now all of a sudden, boom, lights back off. Now, the reason why they're doing this is so they could cut communications, because you have NATO communicating with the yellow and blue country forces and uh so the bear again russia are cutting communication we have more breaking news updates poland also got hit but cyber right it ain't no missiles yeah i mean if it was missiles man it'd be uh article 5 activated by nato but uh, we're gonna get to this one here so again poland also hit cyber and there's been a lot of stuff going on today guys a lot of stuff make sure you check out this video this is very important guys official statement from the bear this is what the bear said we have taken out dozens of one of the members of nato soldiers in a yellow and blue and it's videos and pictures i'm not going to show it i'm going to share this link the article link on my twitter page uh, make sure you check out the videos in the comments box so again, the bear is putting out the information and they are saying that uh, NATO forces are inside the yellow and blue country. They're dropping the hammer once again. So it's very, very important uh, to pray for many, many people out there in UKR. Um, and again, guys, like I said, uh, infrastructure and grid are always getting hit. All right, so they cut off communication once again. Um, all right, guys, before I start, I'm going to keep it updated on the GoFundMe link. Uh, you guys already know my wife, grandmother. She lives in Tennessee. Her name is Dorothy. Uh, we're going to go up there, and uh, we're bringing Dorothy here to Florida. She want to spend, uh, uh, stay with us and uh, spend time with the grandkids, and the grandkids spend time with uh, grandma. And so we're going to take care of her too, guys. Uh, we feel like the state of Florida, when it comes to taking care of senior citizens, the state of Florida has a lot more better uh, uh, doctors and other things too when it comes to taking care of senior citizens. So, And plus, her family lives down here in Florida. So uh, we're going to go up to Tennessee, possibly in the end of May. And um, we're going to drive there. And uh, it's going to be like an eight-hour drive. Uh, we do live in the state of Florida, so we're going to drive up there, and uh, yeah, we're going to uh, bring Dorothy with us, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to help out, and uh, when it comes to the GoFundMe, the link will be in the comments box. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Again, uh, today she had a doctor's appointment. She's doing well. Thank you so much for the prayer, guys. Thank you so much for the prayer. 93 years old. Her birthday's coming up. So we try to bring her down here to Florida uh, as a, you know, spend time, uh, not spend time, but be with us. We're going to take care of her. So um, so we're trying to do this before her birthday. So, again, if you guys want to um, help out, we do have the GoFundMe link in the comments box. Uh, but what we ask for, the most important thing is prayer. All right. If you don't have the funds, that's all right. I mean, we we rather ha uh, have prayers. Uh, so again, prayer is most important, guys. So thank you so much again uh, for the prayers and the support. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. 
So you have the Bear Forces launched a new massive strike. This thing was big uh, with uh, missiles and drones against energy infrastructure in the yellow and blue country overnight. Wow. Impacting at least six. The yellow and blue said. Once again, uh, you have the Bear does not abandon his plan to deprive the yellow and blue of light. New massive strike against our energy industry. This is coming out from the yellow and blue energy minister. Uh, I'm going to skip his name. He wrote on Telegram. I mean, guys, the, again, like I said, they just announced that uh, the grid was fixed. Because a month ago, the bear dropped the hammer and took down uh, on the grid infrastructure and all that. And so almost 100% of the world, I mean, not the world, but the country uh, got the light back on. <laughs> And then this happens two days later. So these strike targeted electricity production and transmission facility in these regions. Now, again, they're not striking innocents out there. They're not striking civilians. They're not doing none of that. They are taking out uh, infrastructure, electricity grid, and all that. Why? Because the Sleeping Giant, the U.S., and NATO are using these uh, to communicate with inside the Yellow and Blue Country forces. And so the bear is trying to cut that communications and telling the Sleeping Giant, NATO, mind your business, go somewhere, somewhere else. All right, so local authorities in the Yellow and Blue reported at least six uh, were impacted overnight, one in that region one in this other region and two in those multiple different regions including the capital and at least two more in the yellow and blue country capital the yellow and blue largest private energy company announced that three of its uh plant power plants have been severely impacted it stated that its facility had been Impacted approximately 180 times since the beginning of biblical man 180 times wow <laughs> that's that's huge 180 times since uh february 2022 man including five times the last six weeks wow um wow so they were busy uh this last six weeks they were really busy uh taking out those infrastructure i'm I was in shock with this one here, uh, including five time in the last six weeks. Man. Jeez. According to the Yellow and Blue Country Capital Military Command, the Bear TU-95 MS Bombers, those, those planes are old school. I mean... The Bear is the only country in the world that uses those planes. Uh, these planes has big, massive propellers. <laughs> and this thing makes huge amount of noise. So you can hear this plane coming. And I believe the Bear uses these planes to signal everyone, the citizens, to get out of Dodge. You could, again, you can hear it. It's like a big bumblebee coming towards you. You got to run. I mean, when you see a bumblebee, you run, right? You run. You don't want no bumblebee uh, uh, coming after you. Well, again, the bear uses these uh, TU-95 bombers, which is, uh, believe it or not, is one of my favorite planes. Um, I mean, it's just old school. And it's really loud. And the thing is uh, no joke. All right. And so, again, that's what the bear uses. So once again, TU-95 bombers fire several of these uh, equipment at the Yellow and Blue Country Capitol, which was put on high alert for three hours. Man, three hours? All of the flying objects was taken down, the same source said. So that was amazing. Uh, if they took down all those missiles, I mean, that's, I mean, that's amazing. Um, they probably got some good missile defense system possibly a patriot um give me a second here
So there were over 50 missiles and more than 20 of the D-R-O-N-E-S. That's the one right there. Hmm. Wow. And that's what uh, Emmanuel, not Emmanuel, uh, Zelensk, the leader of the Yellow and Blue Country, that's what he's been uh, urging for. Look, send us a missile defense system. I mean, you guys took care of the Holy Land when Persia was firing their stuff. You guys, uh, you know, help the Holy Land take uh, take out those missiles. How come you can't do that here in the Yellow and Blue Country? <laughs> uh one thing I tell you is that uh, Mr. Z, he asks for a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot. I never seen a country like the Yellow and Blue asking for so much. It's just sad. And hasn't su uh, succeeded anything. Nothing. Nothing. In two and a half years, the Yellow and Blue lost multiple territories. The bear economy is, is, is not that great, but it's not that bad. But uh, again, the sanctions put on the bear, it's not even hurting them. All right. Actually, it made them stronger by backing their currency with gold and joining, again, well, not joining, but they are members of BRICS. So the bear is strong. There's no stopping the bear. I don't know what in the world the yellow and blue NATO members in a sleeping giant, I don't know what in the world, they, uh, again, they're doing here. They're not uh, stopping the bear. If you kind of think about it, the sleeping giants are losing. 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 Yes, losing. Why? Well, how much ching ching we sent there? How many L I V E S were taken out in the yellow and blue? Hmm? It's got to be like five, six hundred thousand. It ain't no 32,000, like Mr. Z said. He has a great imagination, I'll tell you that. The Yellow and Blue on Wednesday said it was limiting power supplies across the Yellow and Blue country and warned of possible blackouts after a massive wave of the bear uh, operation has impacted the land-battered energy system. Once again, the bear capital also said its forces have taken control of two more frontline villages as it ups its strikes on land and from the skies with the yellow and blue uh, camouflage struggling more than two years into the biblical war. So here we go. I just mentioned this. Uh, the yellow and blue is losing territories. Here we go. The, the bear said its forces has taken control of two more front lines, villages. So I just don't understand why sleeping giants are continuing sending, you know what? Might as well just stop here. Before the bears start taking more and more and more and more. The yellow and blue country leader, Mr. Z, called the bear strike deliberate, calculated, and sneaky. Well, Mr. Z, you kind of sneaky, man. What are you talking about? Again, you'd rather take the uh, $65 billion than to dialogue and talk to the bear country. Almost 60 of the flying objects and more than 20 of drones are uh, impacted uh, the infrastructure. All right, so we're going to skip some of this stuff here. The intensified strike on the yellow and blue infrastructure triggered fresh warnings of blackouts as state power operator uh, said it was limit limiting supplies. So you have the Renegos Dispatch Center is forced to limit power supply to industry and business from 1800 to 2300 military time. Now the scope of the restriction will be distributed uh, evening among all regions is said in a statement. Now the reason for the restriction is the shortage of electricity caused by a massive strike by the bear um facility now the bear defense ministry said its strikes were in retaliation a response to the yellow and blue country capital attempt to damage the bear energy infrastructure i mean energy facility this morning the forces of the bear uh, launched a group strike <clears throat> against energy facility and enterprises of the yellow and blue military industrial complex 
is said in a briefing. So take for tat. That's what's going on here. You hit my territory, I hit your infrastructure. The yellow and blue country capital has hit the bare oil refineries and storage depots in drone events over recent months. Once again, the strike targeted uh, energy infrastructure facility in the last six regions. All right, so that's what's going on. It's a tit for tat here. At least three of the power plants were seriously impacted overnight, according to the yellow and blue largest private energy operator. This was the fifth strike on the company's energy facility in a month. And we already know that. I was uh, in shock, <laughs> man. I right, so... Yeah, we're going to skip some of this here. With the biblical war showing no signs of ending, yeah, well, if you keep sending money, uh, he said it will focus on preparing the yellow and blue homes and businesses to get through the next fall and winter. More than 800 heat heating facility have been destroyed or damaged. We have lost up to 8 gigawatts of power generation, he said in the post on Telegram. Then I start thinking about this. You know how the sleeping giant leader, the 4-6, is trying to ban uh, gas stove? Gas stove. Well, I feel like he's trying to do that so that supply could go to the yellow and blue. Take our gas stove and all the uh, the equipment and give it to the yellow and blue. You know, one time they were thinking about taking our transmission that powers electricity. They were planning to take ours and giving it to the yellow and blue because they needed one. The problem is, is that ours, if you put that on a flatbed ship or something, it's going to take months to get there. Number two, transmission will not fit in theirs. Um, um, what is it? Uh, infrastructure, whatever. It's not going to work. It's not going to fit. So it was a big, bad idea, too. So just imagine Mr. Burn taking our tr uh, transmission and our supply and giving it to the yellow and blue country. Mm -mm. It's like taking a White House and giving it to the yellow and blue. We're going to take the White House. We're going to move it to the yellow and blue. All right. So more than 800 heating facility. We already know that. All right, so I'm just going to skip the rest of this here, guys. But uh, you get the picture. Lights off. And throughout the past two years, this uh, stuff uh, has been going on. The Yellow and Blue Country Capital says that the arrival of long-delayed sleeping giant supplies will help it stabilize the situation on the front line. <laughs> yeah, well... I just feel like there's going to be more L-I-V-E-S gone. The Yellow and Blue Country lawmakers on Wednesday approved a controversial bill that, if signed by Mr. Z, will allow prisoner <laughs> will allow prisoner to be in biblical battles. The latest move to try to boost the ranks of its stressed army. Hold on. I thought uh, I thought we only lost 32,000 in two years. I mean, we should have hundreds of thousands left, right? So why does he need those in prison? I thought, man, hey, hey he said we lost 32. I mean, he said that the yellow and blue country lost only 32,000 soldiers in two and a half years. He made He made King David look bad. I mean, move over, King David. Someone else uh, is much more better warrior and leader than you. You know, King David was a mighty warrior, man. Man, he took down Goliath. He had a uh, he had more warriors with him. I mean, they were doing battle. They were going out and taking out more Goliath. <laughs> man, they were really doing that stuff. Then uh, thousands of years later, he he come Mr. Z. Mr. Z taking down uh, the bear. And only lost 32,000 uh, soldiers in two and a half years. Tell us, Mr. Z, what is your secret? Please tell us. Teach us. All right, we're going to do this one here, and then uh, I'm going to end the video, guys. But, uh, yeah, the Bears seems like they're doing some, uh, um, some operation these last couple of hours. Pole was targeted by a group 
linked to the bear this week. The state-run National Research Institute said today, recommending that network managers check whether their employees were impacted. In recent days, some NATO members' uh, lands have accused the bear of launching cyber against them, and Paul Foreign Minister said his land has also been targeted in the past. All right, so you have this, uh, I'm going to skip that name, that group targeting the Paul Gov institution was trafficked this week by the APT28 group linked to the bear intelligence services technical indicators and similarities with previous strike allowed the identification of the apt to a you know who this group is linked to the main intelligence directorate of the general staff of the armed forces of the bear once again the bear embassy in warsaw did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the matter while there was also no comment from the bear capital last week you have this country, Germany, accused the bear of cyber on defense and aerospace companies, as well as the ruling social blah, 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 blah. The bear capital responded today that Berlin is using unfounded, unfounded a myth about the bear hackers to escalate tensions. All right. You also have a couple of other lands uh, were also hit. All right. So that's what's going on right now. They're blaming the bear. The bear's like, you guys love blaming me for everything, right? Since, uh, again, you know, since 2016, the Sleeping Giant been blaming us about uh, getting involved in the uh, election, blah, blah, blah. So the bear is kind of fed up. The bear is really fed up with all these uh, pointing fingers and this and that. One thing I tell you guys, uh, accusing, assuming, and pointing fingers, it, again, um... Again, uh, you should not bear false witness. Again, if uh, uh, you don't know who did it, if uh, you haven't seen it with your own eyes, uh, do not assume. Assuming it's not good. Assuming it's a sin. All right. So, um, yeah, this is what's going on right now. The bear is sending a message uh, when it comes to the infrastructure, the grid. Once again, lights off. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.